Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated. Today I will show you how to verify emails of your submissions inside of Airtable using Airtable Automations and Integromat. Let's get going. Let's assume that you have an Airtable form which you are using to gather leads for your business. And you can see in the video link below how to create uh, such form inside of Airtable. And you are getting submissions for that uh, from that form and you would like to verify whether the emails that you are receiving are actual emails, whether these are correct emails. To do that, we will use a nice trick using Airtable automation. So the first step, we will create a new automation and the trigger type will be form submission. And let's select our form and let's run test data. Okay, when you click the arrow to the right, you see that you have the sample data visible here. You can see all the fields that are inside of that record. So that these are the fields that we will use in the next step uh, to send out an email. Let's click done. And for the action, we will send an email from Airtable to the person that has submitted uh, email to us. We can use other emailing software. We could also use Gmail, but let's use um, Airtable built-in email for, for this case. So the first step is the person that you would like to send the email to. This will be in here. You click on the plus and from the record, the date in the previous step, you select email, click insert. And then for subject, please confirm your email. In the message, we can also re we can use uh, markdown rich formatting. So we can, for example, do headers, and we can say hey, and then first name of the person. Please click on the link below to confirm your email. You could also make it a bit nicer or use a different formatting, uh, but that will be sufficient just for the demo. Now, what link should we use in here? In this case, we will use Integromat. So we'll go to the Integromat. If you have never used Integromat, you can see the description of uh, Integromat in the uh, in description of this video. Uh, but here we'll just start with the new scenario. And in the new scenario, we'll create a new webhook. So let's click on the question mark and let's type webhook. And at the very end, there will be built-in webhooks that uh, provide us with URL address from Integromat. Now let's create a custom webhook and let's add a new webhook. Okay, let's copy this uh, URL here. And now we will paste this URL here. And at the end of the URL, we'll add question mark. Let's type code equals and here we'll use the record id record id is unique for every record and it's impossible for anyone to know what was the record id that has been created inside of Airtable for any given submission so this is a fairly unique uh, unique number so let's use this one here and instead of just type code instead of naming it record id you can preview email here and you can see i made the mistake in my markdown uh, there should be a space in between so it actually works so let's fix this there needs to be a space uh, in between you can click on this link to read more about markdown and the syntax of markdown that you can use inside of your emails Okay, let's do a preview again. Right. Now you can see that this is with capital letters and you can see to who this email would be sent. Because this is email sent natively from Airtable, it will be having a footer like this at the bottom saying send via automations on Airtable. If you would like to have a more customized email, you would probably be better off using Gmail or SendGrid. You can also find a video about setting up SendGrid emails in uh, in the card below. Okay, and let's run test. Running a test will actually send a test email to the email address that you have been using here. So be careful not to send test emails to any, any of your customers. All right, so you can see that uh, I have received the, the email. Please confirm your email. Click on the link below. Okay, before we click on the link, let's go back to uh, Integromat. 
what are we going to do inside of Integromat? We will test this scenario first. So let's click OK and let's click Run once. And let's go back and let's click on this link. This link says accepted, which means it has connected to Integromat. And inside of Integromat, you will see that we have received the code that we had on that link. OK, so what we can do now with the code is to see whether code like this exists inside of uh, our Airtable. So let's add a new module Airtable and search records. You need to connect to Airtable and then select the right base. Select the right table. And here in the formula, we will be using a formula that is similar to the syntax inside of Airtable formula. So that would mean we need to search whether the record that we have received exists inside of Airtable. So what we need is to see the record IDs of each of the rows that we have here. So we could either do it this way that we create record ID field. And this field would show us record ID and we could match this with this field. But we can also use directly this formula here. So we can actually cancel this and do not create a new column. And we can go back to Integromat and use this formula equals quotation marks. It's very important to have quotation marks so that Airtable knows that this is a, a string of text, not the name of any of the fields. So that would be the formula. If this returns true, means we have found the correct record. So let's click OK. And let's run it once. Now we need to receive a signal to this webhook. This means we will go back to our email and click it one more time. OK. You see that this has been activated and we have found a record. So now the next step would be to update our Airtable if there is a record that exists. So let's click Update the Record. And let's select the same base and table. And here in the status, we'll type verified. Because status field is a single select field, you need to be sure that you are using one of the entries that already exist here. So we're using exactly the same entry inside of Integromat. Otherwise, it would throw an error. If you would like to use entries that do not exist yet, then you can use the smart links. Then it will allow any other entry inside of the uh, single select field. Let's click OK. Oh, we are missing record ID, obviously. So this will be the record ID from the step before matching the field that we have found. And here, let's process only the ones that have uh, been found, which means the total number of bundles equal to one. OK, let's run it one more time. And let's click on the same link again. You can see accepted. You can see this was executed correctly. And here the status has been changed to verified. So let's give a little bit more um, better reply to the person that has uh, submitted that. This means that at the end we will add webhook response. The status leave as it is, 200 means a correct reply. And here you can type your actual reply. Let's do it again. And you can see, even though we have already verified this email, clicking on the same link will also work if we start the scenario. And that's Let's start the scenario so we know that this is working. And let's open that link again. And you see a message, thank you, your email has been verified. It is also possible to redirect your email recipients to another website after clicking on this link. And this can be done by changing, changing the redirect status to 303 and adding a header. The key will be location, and the value can be our website. OK, let's test it again. 
and you can see that we have been redirected to a different website. In this case, we don't see the response that we have typed. So this could be, for example, a thank you page in your business. Now, the final point, let's see what happens inside of Integromat if there is uh, no match. So if someone uses that URL, uh, but doesn't provide the correct record ID. So let's start this one again. And let's copy the record. But let's cut some of the ID and let's try URL like that. In this case, we'll just get the message accepted. So the person that has uh, trying to use that link to verify this doesn't uh, doesn't know exactly what has happened. And inside of Integromat, it would just do nothing. So it will not find a record. There is no match and it will not update that, uh, that record. So it is unlikely that anyone will be able to use that URL to confirm any other emails than their own. All right. And in this case, you can turn this uh, scenario on so it will continuously listen to any incoming clicks. And this way, you can be sure that every single email that is submitted is a confirmed email. So the final step would be, of course, to turn on the automations here so that all the recipients get the email the moment when they submit the form. All right, I hope that was useful for you guys. And then please let me know if you have any automation needs and thank you.